What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to WBE Week 4. I almost said Week 3. I almost said Week 3. Week 4 Season 1. This week we're facing off versus uh, Nerd Out Gaming and his 8th Haluchas. Honestly, probably the scariest team on my schedule. So hopefully after this battle, uh, things will be a little bit easier. Although I can't underestimate anyone in the league. It's gonna be uh, still going to be a very tough time. So yeah, uh, if you guys want to do me a favor, if you guys want to support the channel, leave a like. Leave a comment down below and uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, do whatever you want. Everything helps and I really appreciate all your support. We're on the road to 15k and honestly the road to 20k by the rate we've been growing at. So if you guys want to help me get 20,000 subscribers, I'd very much appreciate that. Now, his team is very threatening. It's got a lot of terrain abusers, it's got a Colossal, it's got a Verizion, and it's got a Sneasel that can't be faked out. So how do we deal with everything there? Honestly, Buffy is the key to winning this match in my opinion. Running an eject button with Prankster, Switcheroo, Thunderwave, Dazzling Gleam, Misty Terrain. Uh, I forget what this spread is for because I originally recorded this a couple of days ago and the video got corrupted, so I have to redo it. <laughs> so I don't remember all of the uh, spreads, um, in-depth stuff because I'm reporting. I'm recording this after the fact. So yeah, uh, we're gonna be running the Switcheroo Prankster eject button uh, because what that will do is it will allow me to deal with pretty much either one of the leads, whether it be Colossal uh, plus Sneasel or Sneasel plus Verizion. Because I'm able to switch that eject button onto it and then go for a priority move with either my Hitmontop or my Manectric to just force it out of the game. So that's really nice. I'm able to burn a Dynamax uh, in that situation. Burning Thunder Wave for speed control options uh, versus things like uh, the Verizion or the Colossal. Running Dazzling Gleam as a way to just hit everything on the field, break some sashes, get a nice stab option off. And we're running Misty Terrain to stop his terrain abusers like the Ndidi, like the Big Karchin. Uh, like the Clawitzer, it's going to be a really nice option for just stopping those things. So yeah. Next up we have a small C Mudsdale, high horsepower, lash out, heavy slam, protect, 252 HP, 252 attack, 4 defense. Really just kind of threw this on there as a way to scare off uh, the Colossal. Hopefully it's able to scare off Colossal or any kind of electric spam. So that's really the main purpose of it. While in previous weeks Mudsdale kind of carried the team on its back, uh, this week it's sort of taking a back seat and more just being like that dude at the door that's scaring you from going into the club, if that makes sense. He he's more of a bouncer. Next up, we have Focus Ash Manectric. This thing is honestly going to be a really nice Dynamax target because I'm running Rising Voltage, Overheat, Snarl, Lightning Rod, and Quick Attack is just like a tech move. It's really just to like pick off Sash users or um, maybe I can use it for Max Strike for speed control. But uh, this thing is meant to just hit everything really hard. If I have Boo Boo Keys next to it, I can spam Thunder Wave to give this thing special attack boost from Lightning Rod. Uh, and then Max Darkness Oko's all of his Psychic types. It Oko's the Deblade. Um, Rising Voltage turns into Max Lightning, which does a ton of damage, and Overheat's able to hit everything, including that Verizion for super effective damage. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really nice. Hitmontop is probably going to be my main Dynamax target this week, though. Uh, looking at his team, this thing is able to hit pretty much everything for super effective, which is really nice. Uh, by running a Hitmontop on this team, it makes it more... It gives him sort of the illusion that I'm running, like, fake out support Hitmontop. Where in reality, this is full offensive Dynamax Hitmontop. The Intimidate's able to help out versus physical attackers like the uh, Steelix, like the Verizion. Uh, I'm able to Dynamax this thing and turn Triple Axle into Max Hailstorm, which one-shots non-Dynamaxed Verizion and two-shots Dynamax Verizion. We're running Drill Run to turn into Max Quake to hit that Colossal for super effective damage uh, and probably one-shot it if it's not Dynamaxed. It's a clean two-shot if it is, though. Uh, and also, we eat every hit from plus two Colossal with this Assault Vest. This thing's very difficult to knock out. We're running close combat for our main stab option and max knuckle. And we're running sucker punch as the priority move to uh, proc that uh, switcheroo eject button strat. And also uh, for max darkness to knock out indeed in his uh, other psychic types. Next up we have Krakatawa, the solar powered G Max Charizard. Scorching Sands, Heat Wave, Air Slash Protect. You can kind of see what I'm going with here. Uh, Charty Berry is just to uh, stop the max rock fall coming off of Stone Edge from that Verizion from knocking us out. So we're just ready for that. And we're running Rindleberry Slowking with Regenerator, Trick Room, Imprison, Water Pulse, and Expanding Force. This thing is just a bulky, it's just a bulky Slowking. It's able to take plus three Leaf Blade from the Verizion. It's able to take plus two Max Overgrowth from the Colossal. And uh, we're running Water Pulse with Imprison and Expanding Force to just stop that Clawitzer and the Indeed doing what they really, really want to do. Yeah. With that, guys, uh, I really appreciate your support. If you'd leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, do whatever you want to do. Everything's very much appreciated, and let's get into the battle. 
What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to WBE VGC Season 1. Now, this week, we are facing off against Jack and the 8th Haluchas, which, honestly, I believe he was ranked in, like, god tier with me in the in the previous to Week 1 power rankings, uh, just based off of the rule, or based off of the team that he had. Now, as you saw in my team builder, I am leaning heavily into Klefki Halucha, or Klefki him on top. I can't speak today. I'm, I'm very tired. Uh, hopefully that doesn't play too much into our game here. Uh, where is it? WBE week two, but that is actually week three. Yes, we are good to go. Just making sure I didn't mess up the team. But yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really excited. Do me a favor, guys. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, subscribe. I am well on my way to 15,000 and maybe even 20,000. Leave a like in the video to support the channel and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite member of my team is and who you think is going to be the MVP this week. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm, I'm really scared of the terrain shenanigans. I have to play really careful around terrain. It looks like he did bring exactly what I expected, which is an amazing thing to hear on my side. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Hitmontop Klefki because it actually kind of nays on everything he could possibly do, um, which is phenomenal, phenomenal, in, in my opinion. Uh, in the back here, I'm a little bit scared of uh, Colossal and the Verizion, but I feel like Mudsdale is still a solid pick. Um, I could, I mean, I'm going to be Dynamaxing this Hitmontop in most situations. I could go Manectric, it wouldn't be an awful pick, but I'm pretty scared of... I'm pretty scared of the Steelix there. Hmm. Let me think. I'm thinking I have to bring the Mudsdale, but my last Pokemon's pretty iffy. I kind of want to go Manectric. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go Manectric. It just feels solid. I know I don't have the most bulky team if I pick Manectric. I mean, actually, no. My team's perfectly bulky. What am I talking about? Let's go into it. I'm very, very nervous for this week. This is one of my harder matchups. One of my hardest, actually. Like, the hardest, probably. But I feel like the Hitmontop strap might catch him off guard. Sneasel Verizion. Okay. It is time, Hitmontop. Do your thing. Now, here's the thing, Sneasel has inner focus, making it immune to fake out. But if he busts his Dynamax here, if he just wastes his Dynamax, I'm not in a bad spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a Sucker Punch into the Verizion, and I'm also gonna switch a Rue into it, giving it the eject button. Uh, because Sneasel shouldn't have to fake out anything, it should feel pretty comfortable going for the beat up Max Airstream. And because it's going for Max Airstream, my Sucker Punch should always connect. Like there's no way he's going for a non-attacking move plus um, beat up strategy. He should feel safe doing this, and I'm really hoping he does. As he Dynamaxes, we did it, boys. We did it. We have neutralized the Dynamax. I hope. If he beats up, we have neutralized the Dynamax. That's all I want. And my Klefki is faster than my uh, Hitmontop, so the Switcheroo should go first. There we go. Ooh, the Assault Vest. I don't like that. But we did manage to get rid of this thing. I don't like that my Klefki just got an Assault Vest. I have to keep that in mind, because now Klefki's stuck. Klefki's stuck for this game clicking Dazzling Gleam, which honestly isn't awful for his team. Not the worst situation to be in. And he's going to have to beat up something on his side of the field here. The Indeedee, okay. Not awful, not awful. I don't like that Psychic Surge is up, though. That could be a little bit annoying, because now I can't click my Misty Surge. Um, but I should be able to take the hit if I Max Darkness. Max Darkness Dazzling Gleam shouldn't be bad, and he is Psychic Seed. Ooh, that isn't phenomenal. But he is going to be taking some damage here. That does a lot, okay. That does a lot. Beautiful. That did way more than he probably is comfortable with. Alright, um... Kind of want to go Mudsdale here. I mean, I have two Assault Vests. I have two Assault Vests. You know what I might do? I might just... 
I might just go for it. Max Knuckle should pick up the KO, so I'll Max Knuckle into that thing. I can definitely take it. That's the thing. I can definitely take the hit. I just don't like taking it. And... Yeah, that, that's about it. I just don't like taking the hit, so I'm hoping I'm going to be faster. If it's a slower in DD, I should. Oh, as he just switches out. Phenomenal. There's the Virizion that's going to have to take this hit, though. And he's not going to enjoy taking this hit. Now, he could beat up, but his best move for hitting us is going to be his bounce, so um, he's going to have to like take a turn to actually just do that. As he just taunted my Assault Vest. <laughs> he just taunted my Assault Vest Klefki, which is a phenomenal thing for me. We don't get the knockout, which is a little bit annoying. We do get the max knuckle off. This should do a ton of damage. Oh, we almost pick up the KO. I'm a little bit upset we didn't quite do it. Alright. Um. I think I just have to Dazzling Gleam again. And we can max knuckle into the Sneasel. Or I should always max knuckle the Virizion, considering Sneasel goes down regardless. Actually, I'm gonna max Quake. The reason I'm gonna max Quake is because it helps me take the Ndidi hit better. And I always knock out the Virizion anyways. And we'll Dazzling Gleam. There's the withdraw. As he opts not to go for the uh, for the big brain move. There's the bounce. That's fine. We're not going to take too much. My dazzling loop should do a chunk. All right. This turn, I'm just going to go ahead and max Quake into the Ndidi for the KO. And also go for the Dazzling Gleam. Because I'll always connect with the Virizion. And I should take the hit from the Ndidi pretty well. I'm, I'm like not even holding my controller. I have like a claw grip. You know those weirdos that play like Smash Bros with a claw grip? I'm holding my controller with a claw grip. That's how nervous I am right now. There's the helping hand. Okay. Well, I should take that just fine, actually. Yep. And we're going to go ahead and knock out this Ndidi, get a special defense boost. Get our Dazzling Gleam off. Here's the Max Quake. For a special defense boost. And we still have all of our Pokemon. I'm feeling pretty good about this game one. As I shake off the taunt. And he goes Colossal. Phenomenal. What's his last Pokemon? Sneasel? He can Surf, but I'm going to eat that hit. Alright, um, let me think. I mean, Mudsdale should win me the match, and with the special defense boost, he can't knock me out, I think, so I'll just drill run here. Hopefully I don't miss. I'm going to be really upset if I miss this drill run. I'm going to Dazz and Gleam up. There's the Surf. Going to be doing some pretty big damage on everything. But as long as I knock out this, um, this Sneasel, between Clef, or between my, uh, Hitmontop and my Mudsdale, I should be good to go. There's the Heat Wave. That shouldn't knock me out at plus one with an Assault Vest. So I just have to land this hit and I win. Dazzling Gleam onto this bad boy. That's going to KO, and the Drill Run should seal the deal. I could have close combated. I'm dumb. I missed a, I, I risked a miss. I should have definitely close combated. Alright, cool. So we do take game one off of Jack here. Alright, so now that he knows, <laughs> now that he knows, that's a whole different issue, man. It's a whole different issue. 
I think I'm still going to do the Klefki lead because it's super solid, you know? Uh, the Klefki Hitmontop lead is very, very solid versus his side of the field. And I can also mess with him uh, by getting rid of his Psychic Terrain with my Misty Terrain. So I need to keep that in mind. How will he adjust, you know? He's definitely not going to Dynamax turn 1 is the thing. Because now he should be very wary of that option. I could actually shut down the Sneasel. Oh no, I can't, because it's, um... I can't shut down Sneasel because it's uh, going to be Dark-type, and it's immune to Switcheroo, since it's Prankster. Alright, we are back, and what, what should the music be? What should the music be here? Let's do Hop. I have not listened to Hop's theme in a long time. Alright, so, th this is, uh, like I said, a, a scary matchup. I have to play this pretty much with surprise tactics. In game one, I managed to pick that up. Hopefully I can get the 2-0 here. It's very good for my differential. And uh, yeah, uh, I am I think I just do the same thing, but this time I don't switch your return one in any situation. We're gonna make that same lead. In the back here, um, I almost feel comfortable bringing the Charizard. Because it actually is really, really solid versus his team if I play it right. Hmm. Do I maybe possibly go for a Trick Room game? I don't think so. No. I'm going to do what I did the, that previous game. Like, just... Just the exact same thing. And hope, and hope that I can uh, still manage it. I might not switch your room immediately. In fact, it's in his best interest to fake out me now. But I can play around that. As he goes Sneasel Verizion. Beautiful. Let's see if he tries to play some mind games here. Now he should definitely have fake out on that on that uh, Sneasel, which would uh, allow him to get this attack off onto my. It would allow him to attack my Klefki and remove the eject button. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch out the Klefki for Mudsdale. And I don't think he's going to Dynamax. I could probably triple Axel. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the triple Axel play. It withdraws the Sneasel. Beautiful. If he doesn't Dynamax here, I should have a very, very good time. Because my Max Hailstorm will KO this thing. No Dynamax, please. I'm really hoping not to see a Dynamax. Which has happened before the Dynamax. As he Dynamaxes. Ooh, this is going to be rough. He should go for the Max Airstream, I believe. But I think he's going to try to KO that Klefki. This is a clean two shot though, which is nice. But he should follow me is the issue. It's gonna airstream. All right, there's the airstream. It shouldn't do a lot. This thing's got only base 90 attack. Yeah, it's only got base 90 attack, so it's not even gonna be like a three hit KO. And we're gonna get a really, really powerful hit off here. That's a two-shot. Okay. Now, I don't have max guard as the issue, but he shouldn't KO us with this, because we are Assault Vest. Um... 
I think I sting with my hitmon top and just attempt a max knuckle. And a lash out, probably. I think I sting with Mudsdale too. I can't afford to let Klefki go down yet. So I'm going to lash out and I'm going to max Knuckle for the KO. I don't believe he KOs me on my Mudsdale. It's going to be really close. Like, like I said, he's only got base 90 attack. He, he might just follow me, as he doesn't. He decides to max Airstream, which makes sense. He's trying to remove this Hitmon top. And I'm hoping that I can just manage to take this hit, because that would be very, very good for me. Expanding force is going to hurt. We take it. Critical hit on the Mudsdale. I might have messed up here by going for Lash Out because I just realized it's going to target into this uh, Verizion. Oh no, it's not. We get the Lash Out. Cool. Cool. Alright, awesome. Epic, in fact. Very epic. I think I have to keep my uh, Hitmontop alive here. Because he should go into the Sneasel. And he should attempt to beat up. Hmm. How many turns of Psychic Terrain are left? Quite a few. Yeah, three turns of Psychic Terrain. Hmm. I think I might just have to go Klefki here. This Mudsteel is going to mess me up. I'm going to go Klefki with the eject button, get back in the hitmon top. I might be able to force an all my friends are dead syndrome situation onto this Verizion if I get pay if I if I play my cards right, you know? It's the max overgrowth. In the Mudsdale, unfortunately. We do not play that turn correctly. Yeah, I could have forced a KO onto that Verizion. As he triple axles. Okay, that's not terrible. I do have a focus sash on this Minectric. This is really scary. I'm gonna go Minectric here. Gonna lose my sash, unfortunately. And I think... Mm, I don't think Quick Attack plus Sucker Punch will KO from this range. So I'm gonna go Klefki. And a Dazzling Gleam should pick up a KO. I'm gonna go. If he has Colossal, I'm in trouble. That's the issue. I'm hoping he just goes for the beat up. I think I know what I have to do next game if I lose. Yeah, as he does switch out. 
But I do have Thunder Wave, which is going to be really, really useful here. He should self surf. Yeah. Let's see if I manage to live this because I can sucker punch next turn. I do manage to live, so I do have some sucker punch. I do have some sucker punch uh, shenanigans I can go for. If he gets fully paralyzed, I'm going to be in a really, really good spot. But he should be heat waving here, right? I need him to be fully paralyzed. I can't afford just to go for the triple axle because he's going to outspeed me. So I'm going to thunder wave here. Uh, no. I always have to close combat, I think. Or draw run. I'm gonna draw run because if I sucker punch, he has a chance to miss triple axel. I just have to try it. As we miss our thunder wave, unfortunately. And he does not miss his heat wave, so that's gonna be game two. As we go into game three, I think I know how I play this one out. Yep, there's the triple axel. All right. So we managed to pick up a sort of a sneak win on him game one. Uh, he did play around us a bit game two, but how do we play this game three? So he knew to go in Didi. Oh, I have my focus sash back. That's fun. <laughs> I'd rather not reveal any information, so I'm just gonna let this thing go down with a move I already revealed. I'll just I'll just rising voltage. I'll just rising voltage here. This reveals Ancient Power. And Triple Axel. So we, we only gained information there, which is really good. Let me think. How can I win this? Let's put up the same rules. Um... He doesn't quite have a way of stopping the Trick Room, barring just going for the the beat-up max overgrowth, which isn't fun. I, I Mind you, I don't like that. Because I think even with the Rindo Berry, I only live if it's... I only live if it's plus three Leaf Blade and not max overgrowth. So. How can I mess with him? I got it. I got it. I'm going to do exactly what I did before, but this time I'm going to lead off Manectric with Quick Attack to see if I can catch him off guard. That might not be the safest play, but it's it's the play I'm making. <laughs> it's the play I'm making today. I mean, I could try Charizard. The only thing is he definitely has Stone Edge. Nah, I always live that hit. Because I have the Charty Berry. We did run that Calc. So turn one, I could just max airstream and go for the. Ooh, but is he running the? Is he running a copa berry though? That's what I'm concerned about. Because if it's copa berry, I'm in trouble. I think I go Klefki Charizard on my next lead. Let's try it. I have to be really, really careful here. Charizard, Klefki, and I think Mudsdale hit him on top is my best, my best bet in the back. My best bet in the back. He has to have Stone Edge. He's revealed Max Airstream and Max Overgrowth. I would assume he has Max Knuckle. So I don't think he's running Protect, which is really good. Mm 
And I do have that Charty Berry. There's no way you can live solar power, right? I think he's going to make the exact same lead. If he ends up going Colossal on the lead, I could always just, uh... I could always just switch out uh, Charizard for him on top turn one. Oh wait, no, he's not. No, he's Assault Vest, so he shouldn't take the max Airstream. And I can max guard turn one. So here's my play. Here's my play. Turn one, I max guard. I have to max guard turn one. And also, I go for my Thunder Wave onto this bad boy. As it withdraws the Sneasel, that's fine, I think. I don't like it, though. Hmm. Hopefully, I mean, at the very least, we burned one of his Dynamax turns, which is really nice. And we get to see if he is carrying the Max Rockfall. As I max guard, Thunder Wave gets blocked by the terrain. Max Rockfall, we do see it. That's good. Now he should follow me here, so I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a bit of a read. I'm gonna go for the Max Wildfire into the Verizion, fully expecting to follow me. Uh, but I'm also gonna set up Misty Terrain to lower any damage and also make it so I can still switcheroo that thing next turn if necessary. The max rockfall, we're gonna eat our berry here. Gonna take a little under half, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna get the wildfire off. He's gonna be taking a lot of residual damage from now on. Ooh, that thing's got disgusting special defense. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go hard into the hip on top, expecting another max rockfall. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to toss off a Dazzling Gleam. I, I mean, I want a Thunder Wave, but by running Misty Train, I can't Thunder Wave anything now, which is annoying. As long as he doesn't Airstream, I think we're in a pretty decent spot. should follow me. Yep. And if you max rock falls, we're in a pretty decent spot. Cool. We 
We managed to burn his old Dynamax, and we ended up with some nice terrain on, or some nice effects on his side of the field. Which he has very little counterplay for. Now, Verizion's best offensive option here is to go for a, um, a bounce, which I don't think he'll be going for. What I want to do is make sure that if that Sneasel comes in, it can't enable anything. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go for a close combat into this Indeedee as well as another Dazzling Gleam because that will catch the Sneasel. All I want to do is remove that Sneasel because if that Sneasel is allowed to stay alive, we're in trouble. There's the bounce. Cool, we make the right call. Hopefully I'm faster this Indeedee. Nope, it is a faster Indeedee, but we should take the hit pretty well with the Assault Vest. He's taking some solid damage there. And the Flames plus a Dazzling Gleam should allow me to KO it next turn. And I can also go hard into my Mudsdale. And uh, save this Intimidate for late game. There's the Colossal, okay. Don't know how I feel about that. Because I want a Drill Run, I really do. I'll go hard, I'll go hard Mudsdale here, it's probably pretty safe. And... Um, Actually, I could switch Uru. I'll switch Uru to make sure that thing can't get a weakness policy. There's the Protect. That's fine. I can still switch Uru next turn. Misty Terrain should be gone in a couple of turns here, so I can start Thunder Waving as well. There's the Stamina Boost. And he's going to take some Sand Damage, which is phenomenal. Now, he shouldn't one-shot me with anything, so I feel comfortable just going for Heavy Slam for the KO. Uh, plus the Switcheroo here. Yeah, because the, the Fire... How many turns of Fire does he have left on his side of the field? I don't know. I forgot how many turns I have not been counting, but I think we still got one. I kind of need it to be one. I almost want a Dazzling Gleam. I'll do it. There's no way I'm getting knocked out by this thing anyways. As he Leaf Blades, no crit. Cool, no crit. We're good. Get a Stamina Boost. Phenomenal. Get my weakness policy boost. Get another stamina boost. Cluffy's gonna get forced out here, which is a little bit bad. But, God, I wish I could go hit him on top. <laughs> I, I wish I could safely bring in Charizard, but I just can't. Sandstorm's gone. Is he going to get freed from the flames soon? He gets freed from the flames next turn, I believe. I might have messed this game up by not going for Switcheroo. Switcheroo would have won me that. Like, for certain, right there. That would have been the win. I think 
I think Hitmontop can take the plus two hit, but it's going to be really, really scary. What are my options here? I'm going to double into the Colossal and hope for the best, I guess. Because that Heat Wave's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. There's the Surf. Alright, it's still a spread move. Come on, baby, you got it. You got this, baby. Hit on top, I need you to live. It's not going to live. Then again, this is a really, really weak Pokemon. Like, just stat-wise. I need one miss, or... It's it's one or the other. One miss, or for Hitmontop to live. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, I definitely freaked it. I 100% grade A freaked to that game. I do still have one win condition. And it's not a fun one. Time to Thunder Wave. Misty Terrain's gone, so I can Thunder Wave it now. I need this thing to get full parried, pretty much. That's how I win. He also has to go for a, um... He has to go for an Ancient Power here. Land my Thunder Wave. We're not faster than this thing, by the way. If he's... Unless he's modest, we're not faster. Triple Axel. Oh, he heat waved for sure. Ancient power. Okay, cool. This is doable. It's pop. It's it's popsicle, guys. It's it's 100 popsicle. The dazzling gleam here, I believe. And after scorching sands. Come on, be be freaking modest. Or just a slow colossal full pair. 30 percent chance to win. Oh. Oh, we lost. Okay. Well, good game, Jack. That was a very, very difficult match. Ancient power. Yeah, I, I could have had it if I switch a route. He wouldn't have been able to win. I was just too scared, man. I, I was fearing a switch or something. Dazzling Gleam again. I don't know, maybe maybe I'll get lucky with like five Mega Crits and him getting completely paralyzed five turns in a row. As far as I can tell, that's the only way I win. Fully paralyzed? I'll take it. I'll take it, man. I just need you to do that like eight more times, Colossal. I definitely threw that game in the end. I needed to switch a room is the issue. Yeah, and there's the ancient power. Good game, bro. Good game. Well guys, that's gonna be it for week four. Unfortunately I did I did kind of throw. I definitely needed to switch a room, which I'm ki I'm kicking myself in the butt about that right now, but it is what it is. Hopefully we can bounce back from this. Like I said, this is probably like my most difficult matchup. Uh, so yeah, I have to, I just got to bounce back in positive mindset. Only got two losses, so we're 2-2 two -two right now in the league. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it guys. Have a nice night and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Jack, how you doing? Bro, I have never been so nervous for a match in my life. Why is that, dude? <laughs> I, I, every match in practice against your team was 50-50. Yeah, I... Here's the thing, like my front office, we were looking at your team and it's like our teams go 50-50 like every single time. There wasn't one particular thing that guaranteed either of us a win. Um, yeah. And I'm kicking myself in the butt right now because of that, because I definitely choked the end game up by not switching ruin the Colossal. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was I, I, I was sitting I, there and I was like. I could switch a but I feel like he would just bring in the Sneasel to prevent him from losing his weakness policy. Yeah, and... so I, I was just like, I was, I was kind of thinking you would go for um, Thunder Wave. I was trying to, I was trying to sack 
my my Pokemon for ages. So I, it could <laughs> I was trying to cite Virizion, so it could just be you can't really get rid of it. And um and when you doubled it to Virizion and it survived the dazzling gleam, I think that's what changed the game that that last game. Um, I did not expect it to survive, but I also didn't expect you to double up into Virizion. I expected you to uh focus the call with your mudsdale yeah that, that's the thing like because um i didn't want to risk a crit with the leaf blade because you know high crit ratio it'll cut through my defenses knock me out uh so that that last little bit of the end game i had the weakness policy it, it was completely in my head that I've, i forgot i had weakness policy so heavy slam would always ko from that range um at plus two because i'm max attack so I was like, I, I didn't realize that. In my mind, I had completely forgotten I had a weakness policy on me. So I was mm. I was like, I got a Dazzling Gleam just to secure this KO. Where had I uh, <laughs> had I remembered I was running policy Mudsdale, I, I would have been able to switch Aru away the weakness policy from the um from the Colossal and probably prevent that end game situation. Well in game one, dude, it was so like from my perspective, it's so embarrassing. Because I was making notes, I missed what happened. So I knew you. I knew you'd uh, switch switch with Jack Button, but then I thought you had a choice scarf hit on top with beat up. So I was so confused to like why my DD was getting hurt after I switched out. But I knew I took justified, uh, took a justified boost before I switched out. So I was so confused to what was going on. So I spent that whole game thinking that you got this choice scarf um, hit on top. Oh, you thought I had beat up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought I was like. Do, does wait? I was like, when did Hitmontop learn beat up? Is that even legal? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like so confused. Oh, I, I, I looked at your leads because you, you, obvi you very obviously have two of the scariest leads. You have the beat up and the colossal with surf and unflinchable mm -hmm. Sneasel, right? Yeah. So in, in, like team building, I was like, I have literally one way to ensure that I take a free game one. Mm -hmm. that's it and that was that was like surprise well, factor stuff even in my head i was ready for the the switcheroo eject button thing and then i just forgot about it in this moment i was like i was like it i i it was the only lead of yours i didn't write down was clef key hit on top and that would be the the switcheroo lead so i was like i just was like yo i didn't even, i didn't even write this one down it can't even be a threat i'll just beat up and then i realized like oh crap what have i done, <laughs> what have I done? yeah no i i was looking at the matchup and i was like why does why does dynamax hit on top kind of go hard um and i was i was thinking about it, i'm like because your terrain stuff is really scary obviously mm -hmm. uh i ended up running the misty terrain on the clef key because it was just a surefire way of either shutting down rising voltage or shutting down expanding force um and I was like, okay, Misty Train lets me just deal with that. It helps me out a lot of ways, uh, but it also made it so I can't Thunder Wave anything. So, I did have a, I did have a feeling in the back of my back of my head that you were gonna go for um you were you were prepping for Electric Spam. Uh, that's what I thought you would prep for this entire week. Sorry, there's a fly bugging me. <laughs> um, I, so I was like, I think he's gonna prep for Electric Spam because he's got the Mudsdale and he's got the uh, Manetric that can just shut it down. So again, I didn't really get to abuse terrain. Like I haven't had, to, I haven't had a chance to abuse terrain in my four weeks. Yeah, because like kind of you have so <laughs> many, you have so many ways of abusing terrain that everyone like that's the first thing on their list. They're like, okay, how do we, how do we shut down terrain? I was lucky enough where I have a Pokemon that I can just click a button and the terrain gets shut down, so I didn't have to, I didn't have to worry mm -hmm. too much. But yeah, like I can see why it's difficult to um to do that. Like I've had trouble running Sun offense. I haven't run like just straight up Sun offense yet this entire season. Dude, every single kind of like combination of team we prep for, we had some sort of sun offense in there. Yeah, because everyone preps for it. Like, I have like a very clear sun offense team, so it's like, okay, I have sun offense, I have trick room mudsdale. What can I do that isn't either of those? Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 very it's very hard. hard. It's very yeah. hard. You're you're very hard to prep for, especially because I had to go to my team and like, all right, make as many gimmicks as possible and try them against me. Because every week you've done some strange stuff. Yeah. <laughs> No, I love so, Draft League. It's it's so fun. Draft League is the only time where like you can just straight up run a gimmick and it's considered a smart play. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we we even um we even prep for Togepi Sloking lead. You trick room, follow me, um, and then you'd shadow ball onto a weakness policy Sloking and stuff like that. So we we, we were like 
so prepped for every gimmick, and then you brought the, like the most obvious gimmick ever, and then yeah, I completely I forgot about it. it. Yeah, so it was it was, was obvious right. gimmick plus offensive assault vest hit on top because I was looking at him like the because the max airstream does like no damage to hit on top after a Dynamax, mm-hmm. so I was just like. If, if I play top right, I can play this game pretty well. Because it has, after they gave it the ice coverage, there are very few things in your team that it couldn't hit for super effective. So I ended up running like drill run, sucker punch, close combat, and um, and we, triple we axle. The hit on top. Yeah, I I feel like I underutilized it in the in the following games. But after you had shown like, okay, I know I know what to do versus this. I tried making a call game two. I was like. I'm not immediately gonna switch your Rue because you're not gonna Dynamax immediately, and then it, mm-hmm. and then it turns out I was I was one step behind. I was like, oh, he's just gonna switch in the Indeedy to prevent anything. Yeah, I, I was I was overthinking in a way. Yeah, there, there's a few situations like the the call switch for me. I feel like where, where I surfed with Sneasel and switched call in uh, in game two. I think that was a big changing point as well because uh, I expected you to actually like double up on me. I was like just praying. Cole could live that as well. <laughs> a lot, a lot of me. This game is just praying. <laughs> yeah, no, that's how I was. I was like, I hope he does this. I hope he does this. I hope he does this. Uh, that, that's just how we... our teams match up. It's so strange. I think we've got one of the hardest matchups in the entire league. Like, yeah, I, I straight up said at the beginning of this. I straight up said at the beginning of my video. I'm like, Jack is probably my hardest matchup in this entire league. So even if I lose, at the very least, this is as bad as it gets. Yeah. And it wasn't a it wasn't a big loss either. It was when I got four on the first game, I was like, "Oh my goodness, oh my goodness." I was hoping to keep that momentum. <laughs> but then, um, no, nah, I I I think I, I actually said to my front office, "I can beat you. I can beat anyone." So <laughs> you you were my you were my like standard of of teams. Jeez. You know, oh, that's so flattering, man. Well, you've got such a, you you've got. I would say you've got a, a, a versatile team as me. Yeah, no. I, I mean, like we, I, I said at the beginning of the video, I'm like, we were both ranked god tier by A drive, so neither of us is allowed to kind of just, you know, lose. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got to be a good match. Yeah, I, I feel like it was a good match. I, I felt, I feel like I was a, a bit under prepped for your team. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, well, I say a bit under prepped. I was under prepped for Hitmon top. I was over prepped for everything else. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're then, pretty prepared for a trick Vinasaur. room. I saw no I was like, was like what is going on? on? Yeah, no, no sun at all. Like I didn't even have sunny day on my Klefki. Yeah, I, I managed to get all your moves down. And I was like, okay, there is no sunny day. I'm safe. But we actually even we actually even calced like, um, I last minute. I, I think this made a difference. I changed my colossal to outspeed your Charizard. Ah, dang it! <laughs> like literally, it was like ten minutes before we had our first game. I changed my colossal to be outspeed your charizard when i'm paralyzed yeah no that was one thing i was hoping that you would do that you wouldn't do like yeah. that and oh to know that that actually would have actually that definitely made a difference yeah um i was thinking about it this entire time i was like there is no way he didn't prep for charizard timid max speed when he's when he's paralyzed because obviously klefki's paralyzed spamming everything mm-hmm. but to know that you did it right before the match now it's like oh come on oh there's there's another timeline out there <laughs> yeah there, there so was. <laughs> and dude, you missed the Thunder Wave. That could have been the difference of a game of the game as well. Like uh I ninety percent of the matches that I played with my front office just came down to whoever got hacks in their favor. So it was it was intense. That that was a, a fun game. Yeah, I this is definitely like one of my favorite matches I've played so far. Yeah. If you ever do want to play again just with different parameters. <laughs> yeah, you know, know, like know. like normal teams. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, like, for I sure. Want, like maybe like bottom hundred Pokemon or something like that. Oh, that'd be an interesting one. Yeah. That'd be an uh, interesting one. Something with, like, like interesting, interesting parameters. parameters. Completely uh, randomized mons. Yeah, yeah. Just just load up a calendar, a challenge cup team in in the showdown, and then you have to use that team. Oh, that'd be disgusting. But yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hit me up whenever you want to do that. I, I've got a decent amount of free time nowadays. Uh, yeah. But I appreciate the post game call, man. You're a disgustingly good opponent. Uh, yeah, this so this is the first time I've ever played BGC. Dude, honestly, you picked up pretty quick. Yeah, well, I appreciate it, man. This, this, my front office is doing work. They're doing work. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, with that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this post game call. I have a couple of things to attend to today. Uh, but thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I appreciate you. If you haven't already checked out 
uh, Jack from Nerd Out. I'll link his channel in the description down below, as well as his uh, perspective of the battle. But yeah, that's what I'm going to call it. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.